All right, guys, welcome to a game called Open Country. Now, we're no stranger to hunting games on the channel with things like Call of the Wild or Hunting Simulator, but this one seems to be different. 505 Games contacted me and asked if I would like to check it out, so a big thank you to those guys for sponsoring today's video. There will be a link in the description where you can check out Open Country for yourself. This is a hunting and fishing game that also has elements of survival. Now, we've not seen that before, at least in the games we've played. So not only do you have to watch your back for many predators that you encounter, but you'll also have to keep an eye out for your hunger, your thirst, your energy levels, and make sure that you've made a camp so you have somewhere to sleep while you're out in the wild. The game itself definitely focuses heavily on character missions that you have to do jobs for people. In particular, there's a ranger that we're currently doing a job for, which is helping me progress and upgrade my equipment. If you just want to take your time and look around, which I tend to do in a lot of these type of games, you can do that too. You have that option. For the purpose of this video, we'll be jumping into a mission where we need to track and harvest some elk. So here we go with some open country. Okay, so welcome to an area called Tumnus Valley. This is, I guess, the second area or second reserve. I'm going to call it a reserve. The second reserve in the game. Now, the reason why I've brought you guys here isn't just to look for elk. When I jumped into this area, I fell down that mountain. I totally went right off the edge thinking I could get down here pretty quick and I fell. And I'm glad that I did because I wouldn't have known that there are injuries in the game. I actually got a concussion. I'll show you guys. You go to health. Look, you've got head, arms, chest, internal, and legs. The head was showing that I had a concussion. Now, I don't know if it was because of that or because I was dehydrated at the same time, but I had blurry vision. Now, you can imagine while you're out in the wild, having blurry vision, you can't really see where you're going. There's like a mountain lion or a bear. That's it. <laughs> That's all she wrote for you. But I wanted to read what the rest of them said. So, muscle bruise. You can treat this with anti-inflammatories or improvised anti-inflammatories. Okay, so two different types. You've got improvised and the proper. What are the effects, though? Rest or use some medicine to dampen the bruising. Time will also heal it. And we have effects. And we have a sprained ankle as well. Okay, all things considered, then. That's not too bad. Putting the ankle under too much stress for a long time will eventually cause it to sprain. And the heal time is 10 minutes. So you can see the timer here. I thought that was pretty cool. And I thought it was worth showing it to you guys. Because I haven't really seen that before. All right, it's getting quite dark. So... Press the middle mouse button. We got binoculars, flashlight. Let's throw that on. And we're going to go back in there. I'm going to take a drink from our water flask. There we go. Drink it all up. I'm not sure what the rifle is I'm using right now. I had to do like a mission beforehand to take out some rabbits. So I'm assuming it's like a 22 or it might be like an all purpose rifle. I'm not quite sure. But I did want to show you guys the camp that you have to set up. If you're out in the wild and you're far away from like your RV or a cabin or something, you will have to make these in order to save the game or you want to cook some food. And that's exactly what I intend to do right now. Ignite, upgrade, add fuel or prepare. We do want to prepare some meat if I can do that. I haven't had a chance to fish yet, but I really do want to do that. Bow drill, ignition, right? We've got a bow drill. I did make one. I don't have improvised tinder. So what we do for that is go to bushcraft. And then improvised tinder. What do I need? I need a knife. I don't have one. Oh, we can make one. Stone knife. So I need a rock. Right. Just off the beaten path. There we go. What was it? Oh, it's right there. I was just about to say, just off the beaten path, off these trails, you can find rock. So it's not that difficult to find. But if we go back into bushcraft, improvise. Oh, stone knife. There we go. And I think I may have used the sticks that I needed. That's it. You've just got to be careful with, like, management of what you're holding in the backpack because there is a weight cap. Look, you can see 60 there. So if we go back into the campfire and we go to ignite, and we why can't we do that? Oh, because we haven't made the improvised tinder yet. Let's go back there then. Improvised tinder, and we need a stick to do that. So it should be over here. You see the sticks, like, gathered around the bottom of the tree. Now, because it's at night time going to be a lot more difficult to find. Oh, there we go. There's a log pile and we got a branch, two branches. We'll keep all of those. If you go around enough, you will find them. It's very basic in that sense. Like you don't have to chop down trees. As far as I know, you can find everything on the floor, mushrooms, food. You can find berries in bushes too. All right, let's go and make the improvised tinder and campfire ignite. And we want to use the bow drill. And there we go. We have a fire. And that's all it takes. Pretty simple stuff, but you can see there is definitely a survival mechanic there. And if we wanted to prepare something, how would we go about doing that? Because I did have the meat from the rabbits that I did from another early mission. I've got a stick and I've got the knife now. Bake it. Right, we got it now. And that should be in our backpack, right? No. Is it over the fire or something? Oh, there it is. Look at that. 
because I've not done this yet, and you, I've not I've not seen what it does. So, campfire and then raw meat, pick up or consume. I guess you've got to watch it. If we turn this off, can we get a better look at what's going on there. I'm not quite sure if you can get rid of like the on-screen prompts. I'm sure you can, but I'm going to need them for now because I'm so new. <laughs> I've done like three or four missions, and then I came straight to this reserve because it looked really nice. Meat, add fuel, upgrade, extinguish. Okay, yeah, we've just turned it out. Yeah, nice. That's exactly what you wanted to do. You are, well, either way, that's how you cook the meat. I think we're okay for now, so we are going to move on from there. I'm not going to sit here for 25 minutes and wait for that meat to cook, but that is how you would do it if you want to just kick back, sit next to your stand. That is the way to go. So we've got a mission which says hunt for old chip. And Ranger Ainsley is responsible with keeping the elk population numbers under control in this part of the wild. He has requested my help with this. I've been tasked with heading out near Watkins Pond to track down and hunt an elk. As a side favor, the ranger has asked me to pick up a forgotten gear bag from the nearby water tower cabin. So the mandatory objectives, find any signs of elk, spot the elk and harvest them. And the optional stuff is find the climbing path and retrieve the ranger's bag. So if we go this way, there we go. So they're all over here. So the hiker's cabin, We've got the water tower and what's that? Is that the trail? Yeah, that's Maverick's trail. That's a cool name. And that's the pond where we're going to find the elk. So with these little areas with the arrows, I've been able to fast travel to them. And the only way I've known how to do that is by getting back to my RV that I came in on. So I think that's what I'm going to do right now. But where is it? So we're down here. You can see where I've traveled down from. Like, I think I started here and I fell straight down this mountain. <laughs> Don't know how I didn't die. Okay, change of plans. I was heading back to the RV because that's how I got here, but I think either somebody's stolen it or I left the handbrake off because it's not where I left it. So <laughs> we're just traveling through the wild right now and I'm hoping... Ooh, what's that over there? Oh yeah, there's definitely something over there on the other side of the mountain. I'm hoping that by the time I get to where I need to be, the morning has arrived because <laughs> I don't really want to be doing it all at nighttime, although it would be really cool. I love night hunts, but... I'm not sure if you guys can really see too much of what's going on, so... <gasps> oh, careful, we've got to spray an ankle. Right, so we should be just past, yeah, the middle section. I'm trying to get down here so I can fill up my water flask again because, as you can see, it's completely empty. And we're going to need it, especially if we're tracking a load of elk. Oh, there we go. Okay, that's how you do it. Yeah, you just break out the flask and you go to a water supply. You can just fill it up right from there. Are we going to boil that? <laughs> Would you guys boil that? I probably would boil that. I'm not going to lie. I don't know what's up at the top of there, but if there's like a, an animal corpse or something and that water's running through it, you don't know what kind of parasites could be in there. I'm just saying. Just trying to cover all bases, you know? The last thing that you want. Right, some leaves. We'll use those. Oh! What is it? Oh! <gasps> No, no, leave me alone. Oh my god, I'm freaking out. I can't aim. I didn't even know wolves were here. That looked like the one from the grey as well, like the alpha. Really cool looking. Where did you go? I didn't see him go up the back there, unless he's just sat around here. Can we not see the tracks or anything? I just turned around to see the sun come up, and I could see two wolves. Are you stalking me? Got a hit? Oh, you do it, wolf. Oh, are you coming in? No, no, don't do it. Easy now. No, don't do it. Oh, no, I can't get out of this. I've got a sprained ankle, so I can't jump. Is he going to come back in? The sprained ankle. It was like here or something. And now we're all the way back around here again. It's going to take 11 more minutes to heal. That was the wolf, wasn't it? All right, let's just go. Make sure we're fully reloaded. Let's just keep it moving. Use the hunter sense and watch for the small twinkle to find animal tracks. Oh, you can do that. Oh, this. Elk. There we go. We've got elk in this area then. Right, let's get low. We want to start moving slowly through the brush. So V is your hunter sense. And you're able to see just little indicators that show animals have been through here. What's the rest of the mission? Spot the elk and then harvest it. 
That vocalization came from straight ahead towards northeast. Oh, there we go, there we go. I see one. Switch to the binoculars. We had to spot it first, right? There's the big boy right at the back. Right, so now that we found them... Oh, I think I spooked them away. Wait, what do you mean I spooked them away? Why? Oh, no. Well, did I need to be in cover or something? Let's take a shot. I got it. Oh, nice. A little bit of a glitch worked towards us. <laughs> they got caught on the brush. I'll take it, though. Right, let's move towards it, even with my spring ankle. I think ankle. heard something. What do you mean you heard something? Is it this that you heard? Oh, I feel horrible. Look, she's like waiting around. The way he said, I think I heard something, tells me there's like wolves or something about to come in. American elk, right? Have I got to harvest it? Yeah, there we go. Harvest Ranger elk. Ranger Ainsley, do you copy? Over. Yes, I'm here. I presume you've got good news, right? <laughs> yeah, old ship is down and trophy is harvested. Meet me at the lot. Roger that. Over and out. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm going to need a drink. Oh, there it is. You can get parasites. Okay. <laughs> well, I'll suffer so you guys don't have to. Okay, so we got problems. <laughs> I think the parasites that I picked up in the flask are making our character really hungry because I've just eaten some beans and nothing really happened. And that starvation level is dropping so fast. I need to find a bush that I can just chow down on some berries i just found some more mushrooms oh we're in the green for the first time we're in the green i can't really see where i'm going but we're doing it we're surviving no 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 oh i tried to be clever and cut through oh i'm so screwed can i get there stop next to the tree oh yeah we're doing it oh yeah we're doing it there just stop there stop there stop there no no <laughs> I got a fractured leg. Oh, no. You died. I saved us from the parasites and the starvation. And I tried to be clever to get across the mountain quickly. So I wouldn't have to worry about more mushrooms again. Oh, my God. I don't want to jinx it. But I think we've made it back to the RV. Or at least almost. And without jumping off the side of a mountain. Before we actually leave, though, and get back to Ainsley and find out what he has to say about the uh, the elk that we hunted, I do want to quickly check something, because I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to check this again. So, let's see. Bushcraft. I just want to know what else you can find, because I've been missing a load of stuff, because I did want to get back. But, okay, rocks, branches. If you get a knife, it obviously makes things easier. So, you can craft arrows. You can craft a bow as well. If you have the proper rope, a spear... Stone knife, stone hatchet. We do have one of those on us. I don't know if it's a tomahawk or just a hatchet. Improvised bandage. Anti-inflammatories. Antiseptic. So you can get the honey. I've been hearing like bees in certain areas. So you can get the honey from them as well. Improvised stomach digestion treatment. And you need echinacea and barberry. Oh, and clean water as well. That's not actually too hard to get. You can find those barberry bushes. Almost anywhere. Splint, obviously, if, if you do what we do. And a fishing pole. So that looks pretty easy to make as well. We have the uh, the three rope. Or we have the one rope that it takes. We just need a a, uh, a branch in order to make it. So there's a fair amount of things that you can craft. And you can craft them on the fly as well. It's just that. <laughs> when I jumped off the mountain, I didn't really get that chance. Right, the RV should be right ahead of us. I think you discovered... Rattler Pass RV spot. Is there an RV here, though? Oh, my God. It's not. <laughs> oh, no. Where's the RV gone? Right, let me quickly check. So, yeah, well, we're right on it. Oh, he's over that side. Wait, that's not too bad. It's just down the trail and off to the left. Okay. There's that sweet, sweet RV. Right, so if we come here now interact and then we want to return to the lodge oh we made it okay right where are you ainsley hey. there you are right let's see what you have to say hey great to see you sorry if i sounded a bit hasty the head ranger was all over us. it's a very agitated time of the year at the office now oh no problem does this population control thing happen every year 
It is done on a fairly regular basis, mostly when it's needed. And when it's needed, it's basically all hands on deck. About the elk, he looked just fine. Can you explain what disease? Chronic wasting disease. It's an ugly disease. It's always fatal and it spreads like wildfire at a certain stage. First, movement is affected, then significant weight loss occurs, and after that, his behavior begins to change, and even more ugly symptoms I won't mention occur. You get where I'm going with this, right? Well, again, he looked healthy. A blood test showed it had this disease, luckily in the stages where no symptoms are shown. It needed to be down fast before the disease spread to other animals. Now I understand. I appreciate that you told me all this. Okay, so before we end things up, I wanted to show you guys Nancy. And this is where you trade, you buy, and you sell things. Let me just quickly check if anything's changed. So gear, consumables. Yeah, I think this is all everything that I've seen before. Oh, that's new. Oh, no, no, that means we do have new stuff. Okay, let's go through it then. So we've got the knife. I might get that. Because that's going to come in way more useful than having to craft the stone knife all the time. The hatchet. Oh, that's a new gun. Over under shotgun. Condition 100%, range up to 300 meters. Okay, this is the one that we're using right now. Gear, med kit, scent cover. That's going to be more useful than anything, I think. Especially with the wolves that were stalking us through those trees. I hated that. Like, that gave me chills. Magnesium fire starter. Elk call. That would have been useful. Moose call. Caribou. Deer. Waterfowl. A red dot sight. And a scope. Weapon repair kit. Oh, so you can repair the weapon as well. And so that's why we have the durability on the weapon. Large water flask, sleeping bag, tent bag, waterfowl decoy. Resources. Oh, and you can get them here then too. You don't just have to pick them. Cloth and get honey too. So there's stuff you can buy. I mean, everything's got its own price. So it depends how much you've got. I think we've got 315. I might just go ahead and buy the knife. But I think guys for now. Hey. What? You shot me then. I think for now, this is where we're going to end it. Something very different when it comes to the hunting games that we've played before. I mean, it's definitely different than Call of the Wild. Definitely different than Hunting Simulator. It's got its own hey. unique twist. Let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments below. Once again, massive thank you to 505 Games for sponsoring the video today. If you had fun, drop a like below. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you all in the next one.